morning, everybody. I am here to tell you about my postpartum um, journey now that I have given birth after surrogacy. First of all, my birth went welly well. Um, I haven't had any complications. I just needed stitches a little bit after I gave birth. My birth, um, my labor and everything lasted a total of about two and a half hours from the time I started getting contractions to the time he was out and they placed him on my chest. So I needed stitches because it happened so fast. Um, we got to spend 24 hours with the little guy and I say we because my girlfriend stayed with me and she helped me babysit for the 24 hours after I gave birth. Um, he was born at 2 in the afternoon and parents came and picked him up uh, about noon and we said goodbye at about 2 in the afternoon the next day. It was an absolutely wonderful experience. I didn't have any issues um, as far as mental health or emotional issues. Uh, I am very emotional as it is, so the first 48 hours after I gave birth, uh, my husband was really traumatized. He had never seen a vaginal birth before. His two kids were given birth via cesarean section, so our dynamic was a little off. He had a hard time like wrapping his arms around me and showing me physical affection but we talked through it and it was simply because he was literally traumatized over the situation but afterwards he was really proud of me and gave me a nice pat on the back and we resumed natural cuddle as normal um but as far as the healing process goes um Physically, I needed to do my uh, wound care regimen and take care of my stitches. Um, I did get a couple of uh, hemorrhoids, but that's not abnormal. The doctor said that I needed to pl uh, put on uh, the H word, whatever that is. I can't remember right now. And then, other than that, I took care of myself, and here we are, eight weeks postpartum. So far, my journey has been wonderful, and I absolutely would do it again. Uh, I loved it. My relationship with the parents has been exactly what I wanted. Um, text message, anytime I text them, they text me back. Um, they don't really reach out to me too much, but I'm okay with that. I, I'm okay with reaching out to them and then they'll send me whatever I request back. But I haven't really asked for much, so it's really been a, um, a friendly business transaction, I think is a good word for it. Um, dad was really, really nice, uh, nurturing. He checked on my emotions afterwards, needed seeing if I needed anything. He was very caring and sweet to me. Um, my coordinator, she has been absolutely wonderful, Denise. She's reached out to me and we keep in contact as necessary and she checks on me and it's been a wonderful experience. I want to touch on the reason why I chose Road to Baby as my surrogacy agency. I gave birth to my son in 2007 and my labor and delivery went spectacular. I since then wanted to become a surrogate. I have been looking for agencies, I have been looking for parents looking for a surrogate and it's just never been the right time. It's never worked out. I never found a agency that just said to, or popped out to me that I really wanted until I came across my friend Clover, 
who was a surrogate for Road to Baby. So not only did she provide me support and it was helpful to have her with me throughout my journey, but she also showed me that Denise, my case coordinator, is really a friend throughout the whole process, not just a coordinator. And the owner, Jennifer, reached out to me on occasion and really wanted me to know that she was there for me. And even though she doesn't live in Arizona, she did provide support through the group Facebook chats that we have. That's very helpful. And kind of provided a platform for me to be able to share my uh, surrogacy journey and be a support system for other surrogates that might have needed it. So that's why I chose Road to Baby and um, it's been an absolutely wonderful experience. So one thing that is important to think about is your bills. So I have a few bills that come in and tell me that this bill is overdue or um, we're waiting on payment for whatever. And it says if it's an ultrasound or if it's a test or whatever it is. I have been trying to keep up on those and send those to my case coordinator um, as they can come in. So I've been keeping in contact with Denise, who's my case coordinator, and sending her pictures and PDFs of the um, bills I've been getting and making sure that I am not financially responsible for any of those. 